the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. That's so important. Yeah. I think, Jimmy, that's why it's so important to, to have messages and, and use the word for itself. Give us, you know, you don't go to jail. That scripture, that scripture I got behind me, right? It said, Jimmy said, don't go to jail. And that's <laughs> right. That's where it's getting, getting to, to where you, you got to profess the lie. Well, I mean, I if you're going to say male, male and female created them, you're going to jail for that because now you're a hater. You, 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 you know, that's, that's, uh, that's race baiting. That's, that's, uh, that's a crime. I, what do you mean, male and female? Not, not, you can't say that. That's, that's not no. true anymore. As far well, as the world. Know, uh, let me say not, something. You know, you know, I love you. That. I love Uganda, Zimbabwe, all them African nations. <laughs> when Kamala came over there and all that kind of stuff, propagating that crap, they told me, you can take that stuff back to America. Let me tell you yeah. something. Yeah. Transvestual, transsexuals, homosexuality, is not going to be tolerated in this country. It's going to be against the law, and we're prosecuting them. And then, oh, we're going to cut you off for aid. We're going to cut you off for aid. Look, if y'all in America want to do that, and that's what y'all want to propagate, that's fine. You're not going to bring that over here and make us now change our traditions, what we believe in, to yeah. fit this crap. I don't care if you cut off your aid, cut it off. I loved it. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I said I don't think you go to jail as of now for preaching, teaching, and reading the gospel. Uh, but not today. But I think I think you remember like Jim, we had that conversation about the one in Priya, I think it's called in the prison. What they were going to do is make sure you don't go and beat somebody up, kill somebody because of their orientation. Uh, but you know, that's the thing about now you can say, but you can say anything that offends you. Now I go do something, and, they, and, and and I mean, you know, if I go in there and say that's that's that that's male and female then now they'll label that as hate speech that's not hate speech that's not hate speech and that doesn't make me homophobic <laughs> or, or whatever because no, no. i say that i believe that to be true i mean right. period right i think i think i think what i said it was the targeting not to go beat them up and beat them up or something like that well, uh, but, but i don't but think real a, preachers i don't think real preachers and stuff do that kind of stuff anyway i think they preach if you preach the whole counsel of God, then you got to talk about marriage. You got to talk about this. You got to talk about yeah. that. You got to talk about sin. You got to talk about homosexuality. You got to talk about man and a woman. You got, I mean, you got to teach the whole Bible. Exactly. And I mean, if you teach the whole yeah. Bible, it's just going to be one of the subjects. It's not going to exactly. be the subject. You know what I'm saying? Right. And on top of that is that if somebody do go out and beat somebody up because they're homosexual or uh, drunken or whatever, you got to sit and say, then you must didn't hear my message because the whole gospel is exactly. Out. Thou shalt not kill. Exactly. Thou shalt not murder. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not cover somebody else's wife, property, neighbor, and all that other stuff. So if you beat somebody up, you can't say, I'm going to blame that on the preacher. Because that's a lie. Right? The whole premise of we be preachers is love. Period. Exactly. That's the whole point. Is if, you miss, if you did this, despite the fact that what I told you in the Bible, then you didn't hear the Bible. You didn't hear the Bible. You heard something else. You know, and if I'm trying to protect your feelings and say what you ever want me to say, the Bible said the last days that we're gonna set up preachers and teachers that's gonna teach what we want to hear, having yeah. inches ears. If I'm not telling you the truth, then I'm lying to you, and I don't yeah. love you. If, if I say, well, I'm just trying to make sure I will defend him, so I'm saying, yeah, transvestitism is cool. You can be homosexual, and everything is okay. Then I'm lying to you, and that, that's you just not yeah. true. It's just not true. Exactly, because the whole point is that I agree. That's what I'm saying. You both like that the scripture behind me, you see it on that, that slide, Nehemiah 8, 8. So they read the book in the in the law of God, what, distinctly and gave them what? Sense and caused them to understand the reading. But if you walk away from a message and you gotta use vowels. If you got to use line, if you got you did you did hear? I don't know what message you was listening to, right? Better right, that makes sense. In other words, so oh, what absolutely. I'm is, what I'm saying is, is people just like once again, like I'm talking about the slave trade. It's like, wait a minute, you who told you to uh, rape that woman when I told you that I should not commit adultery, right? Who told you to lie about somebody? 
when I tell you thou shalt not bear false witness. So, so I'm saying is that they, regardless of whether they thought something was legal, they still supposed to follow the two great commandments. Is it two great commandments? It rose up all of them. It's right? two. Love the Lord. Lord it's two. Lord. Yeah. Love the Lord that God with all thy heart, all thy mind, all thy strength. And then to love thy neighbor as yourself. And if you sit there, the slave trade does not equal love your neighbor. Uh, <laughs> that Pope Nicholas wrote a letter talking about these people not coming under the grace of God. That, that, that wasn't in the Bible. That wasn't in the word of God. But that's what they did. And the people who sit there did the black, you know, burning down Black Wall Street and doing the Jim Crow laws or just the slavery is trade. That was not in the Bible. And yet people use the Bible to justify their behavior. To include the, the one that went there and killed the homosexuals and stuff like that. It's like, where did you get that from in my teaching? You know, like if you teach, right? You don't teach them to go kill somebody because of the orientation. You, you don't do that, but yet they hear that. And you just say, how did you hear that? Does that and make sense? You know what, Pastor? A lot of times they don't have to hear it. If the people that's in authority mm -hmm. want them to want you or want you to get rid of you, they'll take a small excerpt or a small, small sound bite and say, oh, this is hate speech. And they'll propagate that to convince you that it was hate speech. It never was hate speech. It was out of context of hate speech. But if that's what they want the people to believe, mm -hmm. they'll make the people believe that what you said was pure out of innocence. Mm -hmm. They'll make that mean to you that that was hate speech or cause an insurrection or cause violence or cause people to do that. And once they convince people that that's what it is, then everybody in history, when you go back and ask them, they'll say, oh, it was hate speech, whatever, 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 whatever. they'll do that. And then if you go back and you show them the full sermon or they yeah. hear it for themselves, they'll yeah. be like, that's not even what that was. But no one is going to do that. It's what the media, the sound bites, the two seconds, the three words you said, they're going to amplify that and yeah. put their twist on it. And that's what the masses are going to run with. And so mm. now you be labeled something that really you're not, but because they wanted you to be labeled that. Now it's the it's, it's somebody's agenda bigger than ours. And yeah. that's why, again, the prince of the power of the air, and it is powerful. And it's been that way since the beginning of time. And it's at its all time worse now. And it's going to get worse, period. Exactly. And that's why I said that when we started off for you came with the fact is that the uh, the God of this world has blinded, right? Absolutely. The minds. Absolutely. And, and one of the things we did last week, Jimmy, check this out. And, and uh, Brother Isaac can read it for us, but or Jimmy can read it himself. But look at this one. Uh, now, Jim, if you want to read it, can we ask you to read that in a minute? Go ahead and read that. This is John 8, 42 to 47. And you can exegete it any way you want to. Because it lines up with what you're talking about. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, you would love me. Mm -hmm. For I proceeded forth and came from God. Mm -hmm. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Yes, sir. Why do you not understand my speech? <laughs> Even because you cannot hear my word. Ooh. He said you can't even hear it. Yes. You Damn. are of your father, the <laughs> devil, and the lusts of your father he will do. He Woo. was a murderer from the beginning there and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, mm. for he's a liar and the father of it. Mm -hmm. And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. Which of you convinces me of sin? All, all I say, all, and if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? He that, he that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because you're not of, not God. of God. I mean, that's, that's, that's oh, the Bible you're scripture about right there. Slamming that, somebody. That, that, well, let me that, tell you something. That, that. You talking about the sword of the spirit? You just <laughs> cut off my army then. Yeah. Boy, he smoked them right there. Yeah. God, I promise you. Ain't never dead, ain't never dead soldiers laying everywhere you look after that one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and that's what they did. They lie and do things, like you said, you didn't preach hate. You didn't preach go beat somebody up. You didn't preach some, you know, you didn't preach 
to do bad things to somebody, but yet that's all they heard. And that's all they want to hear because they got that's an agenda. And, and when they speak it, they, they, they speak in their native tongue. It's, it's come out of them. They didn't get that yeah. from God. That's yeah, out yeah. of them. Yeah. 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 And, and then you can't hear it. You know, the sad thing about it is, and, and the truth of the matter is that if you've been told a lie so long and you've been mm. propagated some deceptions for so much and they've mm. hit you from so many ways that this is true, they quote unquote done proved it, you know, with fact checkers and all this kind of stuff. And, and even though it's still a lie, when somebody will come and tell you the truth, yeah. bro, you're not going to receive that. You're going to swear they the lie. You're going to swear they did deception. Because if you hear a lie long enough, the truth sounds like a lie. You'll be like, bro, that ain't no way in the world. That's yeah, you'd be because like, I, I, you, I you're I not going to receive it. I heard yeah, that somewhere receive. before. <laughs> That's what you be saying. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. They and and you know what? what? And then what they going to tell you, you the one that's deceived. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's, exactly. that's that's what's crazy about it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And that's, that's just like, was... like like the blind man. They're going to convince him he didn't exactly. experience what he experienced. And he, he <laughs> telling them, and then he said, like I told you before. <laughs> I need to tell you again. <laughs> they didn't hear it. What? They could not you... hear it. Yeah, you say he's a sinner. I, I don't know whether he's a sinner or not. I mean, oh, I, not. I ain't yeah. even trying to process that. The only thing exactly. I can tell you is this. I was blind, and now yeah, I see. Yeah, you, you don't understand my truth right now. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. 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 Like, They're going to shoot it down fact, from every angle. Yeah. You, you you stopping me from enjoying this glory that's been revealed to me. This hey, world. Hey, <laughs> hey, check this out. Check this out. To the point. They didn't even believe he was born blind. They had to go back yeah. and tell his mom and dad. He had to get his mom and dad. And his mom and dad yeah, was, was like, really, oh, no, no, I don't no, even no, believe no. this guy was really born blind. This whole thing <laughs> is deceptive. He was born blind. He Let me go check out his mom and dad. Exactly. There's no way. <laughs> and that's how they can change your, your truth as a hate speech. Because Absolutely. Because they're not hearing what you said. Well, because the whole world is into it. You know, because now we're into sound bites. We're into... Yeah. TikToks that can last less than a minute. No one is ever going to really know the full truth of nothing because the world has got us to the point where we don't really ever hear the whole story. Yeah. We don't really know the etymology of things. They don't want you to do that because then if you did, then you would see the context and everything. So everything has been shifted to sound bites, 10 seconds, less than a minute. Boom. And then therefore they can make anything be anything they want it to be. Because exactly. you're only gonna get 30 seconds of it or whatever, and so that's why when they when they're on the news and all this kind of stuff, they only gonna they're not you're, you're never gonna hear the whole story. Exactly. You're, you're not they're gonna give you 15 seconds of something out of the middle of something, and then when you then when you actually call on the carpet, like I like to listen to congressional hearings and different stuff like that. So when you go before Congress or whatever, they ask you questions, and then they bring out all the content. <laughs> then you're sitting there looking stupid. Because yeah, yeah. it's not a sound bite now. Now yeah. you got to answer to the full deal, yeah, and, and yeah. it's different, and yeah. it's different. But how many, how many people are going to do that kind of research or want to know that? No, no, the masses are easily misled because they're sheep. All you yeah. got to do is say the same thing over and over and over and over again, even though it's a lie. It's going to become the truth. Period. And everybody's going to swear up and down it's the truth. People go to rallies, people be behind this, people be in marches, and it's been proven. You get out there, you start asking them questions. They have no idea why they're out there. They have nothing to support anything they believed in. They can't tell you the truth about nothing is matter, but they're convinced, oh, this guy's that, or this guy's that, and I'm just trying to support. Like Black Lives Matters, or yeah. any other organization, anything you can mention, have 90% of the people in the movement have no idea what it's about, have no idea what they're, what they're marching for, have no idea what they're standing for, because human beings have a mob mentality. And if you if you convince them with a couple of sound bites that something is evil or something is wrong, emotionally, people are gonna get involved. And unfortunately, we're the most emotional people on the earth, and we follow crap all day long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you said, we are caught up in our emotions, which are basically our five physical senses, instead of using the priority that God has given us, which is the spiritual uh, ability to tap into the truth, we just let that go by the wayside. Well, they got buzzwords. If they tell us, oh, that's racist, the racism, we add that to it, oh my God. It don't have to be truth or not. We're all, we're 
hundred percent on it. Oh, uh, cause cause we cause you know we're hundred percent on it because we because I mean we've been through slavery. So you know obviously that's gonna be a buzzword for us. That's a hot spot. So I don't care what it is, if they label it racist, bro, all of us have jumped on it. One hundred percent. So they know that. They know that. So they gonna label racism or racist on everything that they don't want us to participate in. They gonna say it's racist. And but it that got us right there. Then we already exactly. against it. Yeah, because they know how sensitive we are to that word. Exactly. These people are not stupid. Then they're and they're led by somebody that really knows. He's the familiar spirit. He understands all of this, yes, and right. he's the prince of it. He's he's he's. There's no better at it than him. You, you and they're right. being dictated. He, he, and, he is the god of it. Yeah. No, no that, question. Exactly. No question. And that we say that we say that the god of the world blinded the eyes of those who don't believe. And, and to wrap it up, though, because we, we definitely hit the get ready hit eleven o'clock. But we appreciate Jimmy being here, so we, I. I I do stand there longer anyway. Uh, Man, I do this, miss you guys. I'll be honest with you. I miss you guys. And I enjoy it. I, I, I enjoy it every time. Come well, it back. seems like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I and I, and I I think I am. I think I am. You know what I'm saying? I think that uh, we're at a point where we really got to get back to the Bible because we're really in another kind of time where that needs to be our focus. Exactly. And, uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And, and just, just, and like just show iron, it. Iron. And what we like to do is the fact that let the word you can you can bring up different things going on in the world, but just showing how to how that ties into the word somewhere, right? How does the word fit into that? Yeah, absolutely. That that's yes, the key. Absolutely. And you see this last one, if brother asked in the last two verses. Go ahead and wrap that one. If that's what we was talking about. Okay. This you talk about forty. Nine forty four. Or forty. Yeah. Forty. Okay. And some of the Pharisees which were with him heard these words and said unto him. Are we blind also? Yes. Now, oh Lord. It, 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 chew oh, on Lord. that first for a second. <laughs> chew on that for a second. Because that's exactly what we've been talking about. Yeah, because this is this is what's so funny. They knew who he was talking about. He didn't beat around the bush. He, he he didn't speak in code. He told them the, the truth. He told them the truth. And, and yeah. the, the, the sad thing about it is they're gonna ask the question. They asked the question, the folks were sitting there saying, uh, we're not blind, but they gonna sit there, he they gonna say, Oh, you talk oh, about us, awesome. aren't you? So you would are we blind too? That's what they asked, didn't they? Yep. Are she we blind said, also? He said, if you <laughs> were blind, you should have no sin. Woo! But now you say we see. Therefore, your sin remains. <laughs> Ooh, now, that's why I wanted to read Tim. I just wanted to wrap those two verses in because that man, y'all talking really... some heavy. Y'all talking some heavy scriptures in here today, gentlemen. Y'all, y'all get too deep now. <laughs> we wanted to put that in there. Yeah. You, and, and brother, I said, that is that's what people they think they're not blind, and then Christ is showing people when you're blind. And, and and then they're gonna they're gonna like wait a minute you tell me I'm blind well man was the last thing he said if you are blind you should have no sin but now you say that you see you say you see you say you Come understand on now. so yeah. you, you you your sin remains on you because that, I don't know what this means for you that is so heavy right there Myra yes I, I see why I see all that gray hair in your head now boy y'all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, call a spade a spade. Hey, my, I told him about that Nehemiah one over there. That oh, scripture yeah. I put right beside it, right? It gave sense and understanding of the reading. Yeah. And that's the only tip we try to do. Even, even for ourselves, give me a sense, give me understanding of the word, but use the word as the foundation. Yes, that's the love it. I live for this. this. Amen. This is this is who they know not of, and that's what he did. He got revelation all in his word, and I like how we dissect it. That's that's how I like doing that. And uh, well, the only way that. we're going to be able to navigate through this maze and see through all the deception, if if the word of God and the Holy Spirit don't guide us, this minefield, we're gonna get blown up, oh, gentlemen. Yeah. There's only one up. guy that yeah. knows. All, where all the bombs are, all the all the stuff is, it's gonna be his guidance. If he's not guiding us and we walk away on our own, 
we're guaranteed to step on a landmine. I can promise you. Yeah. And, and it's not like I have it. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm far from perfect. Yeah. Well, I'm missing the leg. That. What you talking about? Be the first <laughs> to say that. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I, I think if, if, if I rely on self, I'm doomed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Agree. Oh, I agree. Uh, not just you. I am doomed. All I mean, of us. I, I am subject to fail at every turn. But glory to God that our Savior has sent the paraclete that shows all truth, not some truth, but all truth. All truth. Exactly. It guides me. Yes, and, sir. And helps me and directs me, even when I'm not listening. Come on now. Because I, I, I am known to be hard hit. And it, well, see, it's hard to go against the that. word. You know, that's the thing about it when we put the word in front of us, not yeah. our spin to the word. And that's another thing, Jim, when they talk about the, the, the media, they remember that word you use in politics, they spin it. Yeah. The yeah, of spin, course. When you spin something, you you're not giving sense and understanding. You're trying to confuse They're putting people. their spin on it. Exactly. Putting their spin on it. You know? So so to wrap it up, this is that the this Jim the slide title is this, and this is that, this is how about philosophy we've been doing is teaching the gospel. Yeshua way, and we're telling people Jesus is the transliteration, but when he was walking this earth, when they, when you yelled at him across the street, across, you know, down the hill, up the hill, it was Yeshua, you know? Uh, and then the part want to focus on what is written. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Is, is, is what is written is what our foundation should be about. What is written? And then this one was talking about blind minds because that's brother Addison. We both, Jimmy, did you always hear blind open, blind in the eyes? I thought it was always, I thought it was always hear blind in the, that, that scripture, 2 Corinthians 4 4, that the God. Blind in the minds? I always heard blind, did you always hear mind or eyes? I, I've always thought minds, even if I saw, if I read eyes, I always thought the minds because I mean, yeah. just blind in yeah. the eyes is not going to really do nothing to you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. I tell you, I I, I I I pray every day, God, just help me to hear. I mean, because I know he's always speaking, yeah. but mm-hmm. we're not always tuned in right. or we don't always accept what we yes. say. Because sometimes he tell us something and we go to rebuking the devil and everything else, but it was him. I just mm. pray every day that he helps me hear because, I mean, mm-hmm. there's so much being said. I mean, there's noise being abroad and everybody's just trying to obviously gain some time to get in the, for your ear. But there's only one still small voice out there that that's the truth. And I just pray that he allow me to to just to just ward off all the noise and just mm. learn how to hear. God, teach me how to hear, because if I can't hear from him, I, I'm doomed. I'm just absolutely doomed in this world because they're so convincing. They got so many facts. They can bring up so much information now can be can be faked out. And, and, and with AI and all the computers, oh, yeah. I mean, oh, they can goodness. they can make something seem in documentaries and you'll swear up and down is facts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It got nothing to do with facts. I, I, I can't go by what they, they show me. Actually what they actually have your image doing something that you've never done. Wow. Have people and saying things and yes. it wasn't ever, it wasn't even them. It wasn't even them. Yes. I mean, wow. it's it's scary now. People say, well, I saw it on TikTok or I got it off the internet. Bro, you don't know what you got. Stop. Just yeah. stop that nonsense. Yeah. You better go back to them scriptures and listen yeah. to the Holy Spirit of God. And because yeah. he's the only one that knows truth from error. That's the key to shaping your behavior, shaping with the word of God. That's why I, t- I told him one time, many times, him that even on the TikTok, I said, a tree is known by his fruit. Not by what you call yourself, but by your fruit. You know? Matthew is 12, 33. Yeah. Make the tree good and the fruit good. Or make the tree corrupt and the fruit corrupt. Yes. Well, tree result. is known by his fruit. What were the results? Then Come on now. Go with that. Then go with that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 So God bless you, brother. Hey, see you next week. Uh, we'll go ahead and send that link out if y'all can't find it. Chris was looking for it, so I got to make him do that. Hey, hey, hey brother, uh, uh, Addison, why your words say Chris anyway? You got uh, it. Oh, this is this is the the family computer, and my wife okay. seems to think that it's hers. Okay. Man, it's a pleasure <laughs> seeing you guys, man. Hey, pleasure hey. seeing you guys, brother. 
Well, all right, yes. we'll, be back. we'll be back here next, next week. God bless. <laughs> continue, continue to pray for me and my family, man. Just do just do that, please. Yes. I appreciate y'all for that. Amen. Yes, sir, please. Yeah, we need it. I promise you we need it. Yeah, we need it. We'll put you yeah. all in prayer. All Thank of you, us. man. Amen. Thank okay. you. Yes. Thank you, Hey, y'all be blessed. Yeah, pleasure seeing all you right. guys, man. I'll see y'all yes. guys next time. All right. All right, be all blessed. Right. God bless. Bye-bye. Take care, Brother Addison. Amen. I hope everybody enjoyed the, the study. I think it's a worth, uh, it's, and I broke, I'm breaking it down in seconds. So uh, you, you'll see, some of y'all see it for the first time uh, on text, my text. We'll see it, but Facebook and uh, uh, YouTube will get the uh, daily, uh, daily segments of this study. And we have to stay for a long time. But anyway, God bless you. Have a great week. And uh, we'll see you in the city, man. <laughs> God bless. Bye-bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.